Hi, I'm Pepe. In this tour, I'm introducing the personalities of the great people depicted on Japanese bills in a series of three tours. In the last tour, we visited Oita Prefecture, the hometown of Yukichi Fukuzawa, who is depicted on the 10,000 yen bill, and looked at his life and his devotion to enlightenment through studies for the foundation of modern Japan. In this tour, I will focus on the woman depicted on the 5,000 yen bill. Her name is Ichiyo Higuchi, a writer of the Meiji era. She is the only woman in modern times to be depicted on banknotes. To learn about her accomplishments, let's take a trip to Taito World Tokyo and let's visit the Taito City Ichiyo Memorial Museum in Taito World Tokyo. The museum opened in 1961 in the plaza near the site of Ichiyo's house and was reopened in 2006. There is also a monument to Ichiyo in the park right in front of the museum. The closest station to the museum is Minowa Station, which is about two steps away from the tourist attraction of Ueno and Asakusa. So it's easy to include the museum into the standard sightseeing course. From the station, it is a walk of about 500 meters. We will go straight down this main street, but if we turn right here on the way, we will soon come to the Senzoku Inari Shrine. This shrine is an important stage in the story of Higuchi Ichiyo's masterpiece, Takekurabe. There is a magnificent bronze statue of Ichiyo Higuchi in the precinct of the shrine, so why not pay a visit? After going straight for about 400 meters, turn left without overlooking this sign, keep going, and you'll see the Ichiyo Memorial Hall on your left. Go in, and you'll find a three-story exhibition space with valuable materials that trace the course of Ichiyo's life. Ichiyo Higuchi was born about 150 years ago at the beginning of the Meiji era as the second daughter of a former samurai family. From a young age, she was a clever student and excelled in her studies. However, women still had a low status in Japan, and there is a strong belief that the girls did not need education, so she gave up education after finishing her primary school at the age of 12. However, her father took Ichiyo's strong desire to study into consideration and sent her to Haginoya, where she could study waka poetry and calligraphy. The study of classical literature there led to the development of Ichiyo's literary talent, which would later blossom. When she was 19 years old, she decided to write novels to earn money as a way to help her family out of poverty caused by the death of her father and brother. At that time, she had a romance with a newspaper reporter and novelist named Tosui Nakalai, who was also her mentor in writing novels, but the romance was never realized due to opposition from others. It was difficult for her to make a living from her novels at that time, 
So she moved to Ryusen, Taito War, where this memorial hall is located to open the general store. The site of her former residence can still be seen just outside the museum. She and her sister tried hard to do business here to support their family, but it didn't go well and they ended up closing the store after less than a year and she decided to make a living again by writing novels. However, her business experience in this area became an important background for the masterpieces she would later produce. In fact, this place called Ryusen was located right next to Yoshiwara, the most famous brothel area in Tokyo since the Edo period. At its peak, Yoshiwara was a major red light area with thousands of prostitutes called Oilang in an area of about 60,000 square meters. After the Meiji era, the area gradually declined, but it is still a famous adult entertainment area today. At this intersection that used to be the entrance to Yoshiwara, There still remains a famous willow tree called Look Back Willow, where customers used to look back at the brothel on their way home. The novel Takekurabe, one of Ichio Higuchi's best known works, begins with the description of this willow tree. The novel depicts the life of a 14 year old girl living in Yoshiwara, who is destined to become a prostitute and a faint love between her and the son of a Buddhist monk, as well as the town life in Tokyo and the growth of children. This novel was highly praised in the literary circles at the time and greatly enhanced Ichio's reputation as a novelist. Although Takekurabe was published when Ichio was 23 years old, she left behind many masterpieces in the following year and two months and this period was later called the Miraculous 14 Man. However, by that time, Ichio was already suffering from tuberculosis, an incurable disease in Japan at the time. Her life ended in 1896 at the age of only 24. Ichio's diary, which was published after her death, was highly praised and her reputation continued to grow even after her death. In 2004, she was chosen as a portrait for the 5,000 yen bill. In recognition of the fact that she was the first female professional novelist in Japan in the modern era, and her achievements in creating masterpieces that have made their mark in the history of modern literature, have always appeared in history textbooks and are well known to many Japanese. The Memorial Hall displays a rare issue, number 2 of the 5000 yen bill. The portrait of the 5000 yen bill was created based on this picture here. Unfortunately, there are not many English versions available yet, but on the first floor, there are books and manga about Ichio Higuchi, as well as original goods for sale. Why don't you take a stroll through old Tokyo with a 5,000 yen bill in your hand and think about the life of Ichio, a pioneer of women writers who left behind some of the most famous works in history in her short life. Well, next time, I'd like finally feature this person on the 1000 yen bill, so look forward to that too.